You know it was a success. You did a little bit of it last year and backed by popular demand. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a two-hour extravaganza, really, isn't it? I'm laying myself bare. <laughs> it, it, to be honest, it, it's one of the scariest things I've done. Well, for, I was going to say, for, I mean, on the scale of one to ten, just how daunting is this compared to everything else you've done? Well, standing on a stage in front of a thousand people and going kind of off script, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a kind of... An evening that I've, I've written, I wanted to create something that was inspiring, that was motivating, that was, was almost a, um, a, a medicine to, to the anxiety and the, the, the kind of the negativity in the world today. Mm. You've just got so much to talk about, Ben. You've done the most extraordinary things. I mean, the list reads really like a movie script, but this has been your life. It's, it is remarkable. And so I think people are just inspired by that. It's things that they're never going to do, potentially, in their own lives, you know? It's, it is amazing. Well, thank you for saying that. I, I think... I, I describe myself as just the bloke next door who has been given some opportunities and I've run with them. That, that's kind of how, how I see it. it. It all started when I was marooned on an island for the first reality show nearly, nearly 20 years ago. And I've just seized those opportunities. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a yes man. And I think if you look at everything I've done, that's one of the reasons. But one of the reasons that I've now put it together in this stage show is that as a father, I've got two young children now. I kind of want to make sense of it. I don't want it just to be about ticking boxes. It's not about having a bucket list. I think one of my favourite quotes is, climb the mountain so that you can see the world, not so that the world can see you. Mm. And I'm aware of the irony and the hypocrisy in that, in that I made a TV show and I'm now sharing it on the stage. But I think what I've tried to do is to translate it into everyday um, kind of language for people. Mm. And what I want to try and encourage people is, is to not climb Mount Everest. That's, <laughs> I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that unless that's your, your dying passion and something that you've, you've wanted to do all your life. But climb your own Everest. And I think we all have challenges that we're, we're slightly too scared to take on. Mm, well, exactly. We all have. We all have. Which I think why so much of this resonates with all of us. You talk about your children there. Have they inherited your love of adventure? They, do you know what they have? My, my son, Ludo, who is nine, has just... Um, he, he came back so excited. There's a, a very small school trip um, to Penny Fan in Wales. And he was so excited about going on this camping trip. Now, if I think back to when I was nine years old, that would have terrified me. I wanted my, my creature comforts. <laughs> I, I genuinely I didn't like camping or the outdoors until much later in life. So I think very slowly, uh, um, not through attrition, but just through, I think, just seeing me loving my experience in the wilderness, um, I think, I think they're, they're kind of, they're catching the bug a little bit. I have to say that when, when I hear that you're off to do some incredible kind of travel log type program, I, and I've never met your wife, but I think of her. Mm -hmm. I think, how does she do this? She, you know, it's very tough for the one left behind worrying about you to begin with. Well, I mean, long suffering is a term that's often <laughs> thrown around. But having said that, my wife, Marina, who's been on the show many times, she's, she's a resilient individual. She, she is strong, she's opinionated, and uh, she is the glue that keeps the family together. So w when I go off to do some of these things, um, the real hero, or the heroine in this case, is Marina, yeah. because <laughs> cause, cause she keeps everything going. But, but in that case, in that sense, it's a very, it, it's a family thing whenever I go off. And, it's not, I'm not constantly on great big adventures, but I'm often away in far away places. So over the course of the last year, I've been making series nine of New Lives in the Wild, where I go off to live with people who've dropped off the grid. I think that's one of the reasons why I love doing the series and, and the new series that starts next week on, on Channel 5, I, I think is deeply inspiring, mm. especially now when people are worried about finances, they're worried about politics, they're worried about society. There's a lot of anger and, and pessimism in the world. Yeah. And I think it's the antidote to that. It, it, it shows that actually, with, with very little, you can achieve a, a very happy life. Yeah, and your mum's happy with the show. My mother's the actress Julia, Julia Foster. Foster of course. And uh, so what's quite strange is that she has she's performed on many of the stages. There's, there's mum there. Uh, she's performed on many of the stages that, that I'm touring around the country. So it's quite strange following in her footsteps. And, and it's not that strange in some ways because I, I, I aspired to follow in my parents' footsteps. I wanted to be a vet like my father, but I, was, I wasn't clever enough, failed all my exams. And then I was desperate to, uh, I was desperate to be an actor. I, I couldn't remember my lines. So I, I got rejected by the drama schools. But it's almost like I get to... to uh, scratch that itch There's now. a bit of it, yeah. Yeah, that I, I get to stand on the stage and, and share my stories and hopefully inspire 
people to, to follow their dreams? Well, it's definitely, there's, in, in essence, it's anything is possible. I think that is kind of the basis of, of the tour and, and Tales from the Wilderness. And it starts on the 4th of November. 4th of November in Oxford, but we're going to Brighton. We're going to uh, Newcastle, to Bedford, all, all over the country. Oh, and some, some, quite a few venues have sold out, but there are a few tickets. If you, uh, if you look now, you'll, you'll just, may, just maybe get a ticket. It. Fantastic, Ben. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Look forward to hearing what the next travels are. Thank you, Christina. <laughs>